That's a nice horse, Socrates. It's a very nice horse. A sturdy horse. It's also a stolen horse. Socrates the horse thief. I can almost hear the stories they will tell. Aristophanes will love these. Unfortunately, those stories would be entirely fabricated. Although, I would like to see if you believe the story should still be told once you know the truth. What story is that? There is a man nearby who is responsible for stealing the horse. I've been contemplating the proper course of action, but I'd like to know what you think is right. And how should I make my decision? Your thoughts are your own, but speaking to the thief himself may help you decide. Can such a crime be justified? It's an interesting thought. Where is the thief now? I told him to wait by the stable southwest of here. If you caught him stealing a horse, what's to say he won't just run away? The hope of keeping the horse. That's where you come in. I'll let him tell you the rest. I should try to stay out of sight. the one who stole the horse? Socrates said I should talk to you. Bad enough being caught, but to have a Mystheus judge me... Better than an Athenian guard. Anything to say? The man I stole it from won't even miss it. He has plenty of others, while my only horse died last week. If I had the Drachmi to buy a new one, I would have. Did you steal the horse to use it or sell it? I have a family to feed, and this horse will help me on the farm. Plus, I have no other way of traveling right now. There is no other option? Not that I could think of. Trust me, I feel shame for what I did. Any reason you pick this specific horse? It was the easiest one to take. Other than that, not really. Though, I did make sure it wasn't his best horse. A courteous thief. I didn't steal it for fun. 
I did it because I had no other choice. I have enough information to make a decision. I hope you can understand. Wouldn't you do the same if it was your family? Have you decided what should be done? It doesn't matter why he stole the horse. It belongs to someone else. You surprise me yet again. I truly believed you would choose the other side. Because I'm a Mystios. Of course. Yet, when it comes to someone else, you decide a crime deserves a consequence, no matter the reason. A safe choice, although I can think of times when it may not be right. The real question is whether my decision matters at all, or if this was just another test to see what I would do. There is a good chance it is both, but an equally good chance it is neither. Now you're not making sense on purpose. Let me ask you one more thing. If one man kills another in order to save many, can his actions be considered just? Or should the man be punished? The outcome may be better, but he should still be punished for his crime. That is true, yet if his peers were to decide, especially those he saved, they may argue that though the action was wrong, it was necessary and just. I'm not sure the law cares about the reasons. But if we are to decide whether the law should act on a man, or if his crime should be pardoned, the worthiness of the action should be taken into account, should it not? Are we done yet? I can't stay here all day. Of course you can't. It's a luxury few can afford. Even those with the time for it often lack the mental capacity for such things. Okay. Off we go. Can I help you with something? There's another merchant. He's accusing me of stealing his sails. I heard he's paying a mercenary to have me killed. Who would do such a thing? You'd be surprised what money can make a person do. God protect me. I can't believe he would have me killed. Uh, 
Oh, there must be something you can do. And you want me to kill this mercenary? Then you understand. The gods are smiling on you. I've already done it. My dear friend, you've earned this. That'll do. So now they have people watch us get punished. That's a different kind of shame. I'm not here to watch. I just saw you by chance. What you saw was a man who paid his master for freedom, but is being kept a slave. You can do that. My master gave me a price for my freedom, and I saved until I had enough. Now that I've given him the drachmi, he pretends as if the deal never existed. That isn't right. Let me talk to him for you. Really? You do that? My name is Phaedon. I don't know who you are, but surely you were sent by the gods. They must have heard my prayers. If you're waiting on help from the gods, I can leave. No, please don't. Someone or something brought you here to me. Yes, my legs did. Gods or not, I'm grateful. My master should be near the silver mine. He's likely overseeing other slaves like myself. Have you always been a slave? Since my youth. I was in the wrong place and born to the wrong family. I've been sold more than once. And you just now got enough to buy your freedom? More like I found a master who was willing to give me that sort of deal. I should have known he'd lie. It was my only hope and now it's gone. Do you often get whipped like that? More than you know. What did you do? I don't always know. Not working fast enough, looking at someone wrong, asking for water. Sometimes they do it just for fun. I'm not sure how much more I can take. I'll talk to your master and make sure he listens. He's not really the listening type. He will be with me. You look strong. I could always use more people to keep the slaves in line if you're looking for work. I'm already working. I'm here about one of your slaves, Fedon. As if I know their names. You're wasting my time. I shouldn't even need to be here. You're the one wasting my time. Ha! <laughs> Nobody has spoken to me like that in quite a while. Spit it out while you're still entertaining. Fedon paid you for his freedom. Give it to him. Hmm. Doesn't sound familiar, but I'm feeling generous. Do something for me, and I'll give this Fedon his freedom. What is it? There is a woman I'd like you to kill. It'll leave her family to fend for themselves, but the cult of Cosmos needs it done. You're a member of the cult? If that's true, then you know who I am. You're smarter than they make you out to be, Eagle Bearer. Tell me why I shouldn't just kill you now. You could. Of course, if I'm killed, the slave stays that way. And I'm the only one who knows where his papers are. Why does this woman need to die? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you needed to know that. Wait, you don't. Felon said you already broke your promise once. This better not be another of those times. Look around. I have plenty of slaves. In exchange for the woman's death, I can let one go. Most people prefer to keep their cult status a secret. You can't do a thing about it if you want to help whatever his name is. Also, it adds a bit more fun to the situation, don't you think? I'll be on my way. Kill the woman or not, it's your choice. But if you want your slave friend to go free, it's the only way. One person's freedom is another's demise.
Alexios, what chance that we should meet here? It doesn't really feel like chance. Ah, so you wish for today's topic to be about fate? No, not really. Good, because I had another in mind. Attica is large, yet fate keeps bringing us together. Ah, you're trying to bring us back to fate once again. I won't let you avoid answering my questions, though. So how much did you overhear? Oh, all of it. You have a difficult choice to make, clearly. How much is the freedom of one person worth? Do you believe one life is worth more than another? There is no difference between one person and another. We all take our first breath the same way. But are the breaths you take equal to my own? Would you not say the breath of Pericles is put to better use than that of someone in prison? It doesn't matter which two people you compare. The answer is the same. So, a thief is equal to a priest, a politician to a child? An interesting view. I think I've said enough. Ah, you're, you're right. I know you are busy and your mind is weary. That does sound like me. Go now. It's been an honor having these conversations with you. You too, Socrates. What is it? I'm not going to kill someone so you'll free Fedon when he should have been already. Fine. I'll find someone else to kill her, and Fedon will remain my slave. I'll be sure he receives a grand reward for wasting so much of my time. Let's hope no one notices me here.
Messenger, he's being held in that prison camp. I need to stay hidden. Mount Pentelikos holds the purest marble in the Greek world. 
I heard they built the Parthenon with it. There's definitely something there. Like I was too late for Yerimos. Huh. Seems like Cleon's messenger wasn't the only one captured. Maybe I can help them too. Yeah. <sighs> 
Over here. Help me, please. Thank you. I need to get to my ship. I'll reward you well. You have a ship? Yes. I came inland to meet an associate. You might have seen him. He enjoyed Spartan hospitality at the end of a rope. Yerimos. I was sent to rescue him. We can still complete the mission if you help me. Tell me who you are. Captain Onomaklis. I'm on an urgent mission. I need to get out of here. Spartan patrols could find us at any moment. Agreed. We need to get to my ship. I'll get you to your ship. Just point me in the right direction. It's on the coast. Just south of Marathon Beach. What's so important about this ship? It's not the ship, but it's cargo. It must reach its destination. Then what's the cargo? I'm not ungrateful for your help. But it's better you don't know. Why is that? Just believe me. What we do is for the security and future of others. This mission must succeed. Ella, my payment relies on it. So, trust me, it will. Come on! met the same fate as you. I don't blame Yerimus for talking. Spartans lack the most basic empathy. Stay here. I'll kill the Spartans, destroy their ships, and free your crew. Yeah! <laughs> 
Nothing's a great service. On my return, I will make sure to acknowledge it. Well, you did mention payment. More than that, you will have earned the favor of some powerful people when they hear of what you've done. I hear it's useful to have powerful friends. The way the world is now, you need them more than ever. What do you mean? I've said enough. And my sheep awaits. Thank you again, Mistyos. I hope we'll meet again. You took far longer than I expected. There were complications. In what way? Your messenger was dead by the time I arrived. But I was able to free the captain, and the ship sailed. So, I still did the job. Ah, oh, poor Yerimos. But I should be thankful for your initiative. 
You don't seem very concerned about poor Yerimos. Every struggle has its sacrifice. Yerimos played his part well. What's in Mytilini that's so important? People. We need as many allies as we can gather. This was more than I bargained for. You'll be amply compensated. You have done me and the people a huge service. One day, you will see your part in this great work. Alexios, by the gods, is that... By the gods? Itor, is that you? You look... You look old, my friend. When was the last time I saw you? Kefalonia. That job for Marcos. Remember? We ended up back to back, surrounded by angry pirates. Though, as I recall, I had your back. Polish your memories like you would your armor, and it'll make much better tales. I'd heard rumors you'd settle down in Attica. Always thought you'd die with a blade in your hand, not open up a shop. The blade I always thought I'd take with me is missing. I could use your help if you're willing to assist an old friend. You mean Arpi? You love that blade. Some Malakas commander came in here demanding I fix his fucking twig. When I couldn't, he said I was obligated to provide a new one. And the one he wanted was hanging on my wall. I'll get Arpi back for you. Don't do anything stupid. I just want her back. Hey, you know me. That's why I'm afraid. Tell me where to find the commander. He's here, in Attica, at Fort Filey. Why go to so much trouble for an old sword? She's the only thing I loved that never left. And how will I know her when I see her? How could you forget a hilt of gold with a curling serpent moving up the blade? Always sharp, no matter what. And when you swung her, well, she'd sing a siren song of death. Kept me alive through many a scrape. That I do remember. I should be going. Remember, we don't want trouble. Just sneak in and take it. You're still good at that, right? I won't lower myself to answer that. This must be Fort Fali. If Itor's right, I'll find the sword inside. As fine a blade as ever I've seen. Got it from a new smith, I heard it. <laughs> yeah. He can knock a dent out of it, but that's... That's an incredible Around him, if I say. If you say, I'm fine believing. Never. 
belong to you. Can't stay here. No mistaking this blade. Glad you're back safely. Did you get my RP? Yes, I found RP. Good, good. And what of that Malacca's commander? He didn't survive our encounter. <laughs> you are a true friend. I have a feeling there's more to the story of Arpi's disappearance than you're letting on. What? Come now! You've always had such a suspicious mind. Still seeing conspiracies everywhere, are we? You've done me a great favor here. Let's not sour the celebration. Getting Arpi back wasn't easy. I had to go to a lot of trouble. A little drag me wouldn't hurt. Ha! You truly are a mercenary, through and through. I learned from the best, remember? Of course, of course. I'm happy to pay. You did me a great service today. And great work deserves a great reward. Here, take this. Even if I don't swing her anymore, I'm glad to have Arpi back. Take care of yourself, Itor. And try not to lose anything else. <laughs> 